गुड मॉर्निंग नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग द रिफ्रेंड इवेंट्स इन द रिप्रोडक्शन द फर्स्ट इवेंट इज गैमिटोजेनेसिस दिस इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ गैमिट्स इन द sex organs that is primary sex organs thus it include the formation of sperm and formation of ova so gametogenesis is divisible into spermatogenesis and oogenesis firstly we are discussing in spermatogenesis so what is spermatogenesis It is the development of sperms in the testis. You know, testis possesses numerous seminiferous tubules, and that seminiferous tubules possess male germ cells or spermatogonia. Thus, during the spermatogenesis, one spermatogonium. undergo mitotic division repeated mitotic division and it transform into many spermatogonia thus large number of spermatogonia are produced by the repeated mitotic division of one spermatogonium some of these spermatogonia stop division absorb nutrients and transform into primary spermatocyte primary spermatocyte these spermatogonia are diploid cells possessing two n number of chromosomes and the primary spermatocyte also possesses two n number of chromosomes and this primary spermatocyte is formed from spermatogonia by differentiation no division here then after the formation of this primary spermatocyte that primary spermatocyte undergo meiosis you know meiosis is to meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 thus firstly they undergo meiosis 1 and by this meiosis 1 primary spermatocyte become secondary spermatocyte secondary spermatocyte and it become two secondary spermatocytes and during this first meiotic division the chromosome number become half because it is a reduction division and so the they are n number chromosome number become half this division is equal division and so two spermatocytes are secondary spermatocytes are formed then these secondary spermatocytes again undergo equal division by meiosis second and become two spermatocytes this from once primary spermatocyte four spermatids are formed and they are also diploid so this is the first division in the formation of sperm or spermatogenesis then these spermatids are like normal cells they transform into the differently shaped and multi sperms by a process called spermiogenesis 
less price per biogenesis. This spermatic transform into spokes or spermatozoa. So this is the spermatogenesis. Very simple. It is a very simple process. Many spermatogonia and among that one spermatogonia start to repeat and mitotic division to form large number of spermatogonia. Some of these stop the division, absorb the nutrients and transform into primary spermatocyte and with the deployed condition. Then from that primary spermatocyte through meiotic division, the secondary spermatocytes are formed and they have haploid chromosome number. So this is the first cell with the haploid chromosome number in spermatogenesis. Then this secondary spermatocyte again undergo meiosis again and become spermatids. Then these spermatids with the help of sartori cells transform into the motile moving spermatozoa and that process is called spermiogenesis. So spermiogenesis is the transformation of spermatid into active spermatozoa or sperms with the help of some cells. So this is the spermatogenesis. This spermatogenesis is starting at puberty, around the age of 13, 14, 15, etc. And during that period, spermatogenesis is started by secreting the hormone GnRH from hypothalamus. Hypothalamus produces gonadotropin releasing hormone. This GnRH from hypothalamus influences anterior pituitary and so anterior pituitary produces two types of hormone the LH and FSH. LH influence leading cells to produce or to secrete the male sex hormones androgens like testosterone. This androgen influences the spermatogenesis. Yes? Then this FSH FSH influence sertoli cells and sertoli cells then secrete many factors and these factors influence the transformation of spermatid into active sperm or spermatozoa that is spermiogenesis. Then after the formation of sperms, they are collected and transported through the accessory legs and finally they are released out. This release of sperms from testis to out is called spermiation. So what is spermiation? Yes, it is the release of sperms from testis to power. So this is about the spermatogenesis. It is very simple occurring at puberty due to the influence of hormones and it is the division firstly by mitosis then mainly by meiosis. So you have to know these different events in the spermatogenesis. Okay? Spermatogenesis, sperms are developed. We have to know the structure of sperms. So next is structure of sperm. A sperm possesses an egg. 
which is the main part of the spoke. That the hector has two parts. There is a capillary structure containing enzymes for penetrating into the ovum, and that the enzyme-filled capillary structure is called a crossover. This is present on the anterior end of the spoke. Then the major part or main part of the head is a haploid nucleus. Haploid nucleus. So this is the head of spoke and the acrosome and the haploid nucleus. Then the next part is a short neck. There is a short neck, but that neck is important because that part possesses two centrioles. Two centrioles are present in the neck region. Then the third part is middle piece. That middle piece possesses cytoplasm and numerous mitochondria. So the main ingredients of middle piece is mitochondria. What is the function of mitochondria? Yes, this is the powerhouse of cell that is energy production. So mitochondria produce energy for the movement of sperms. Then next part is a long tail. And this tail help for the movement of or swimming the sperms through the seminal plasma towards the ovum or it help the movement of sperms. So the structure is very simple containing head and in that head there is a nucleus then acrosome containing the enzyme. Then neck possess two centrioles which are essential for the development of A and also for the first mitotic division of the zygote. Second, third is middle piece and this is possess numerous mitochondria surrounded by cytoplasm and this mitochondria produce energy for the movement of the tail and fourth part it is a long tail, the lashing movement of this tail help to swim with the sperms towards the form. So this is about the structure. It is very simple. You have already studied this. Do you know how many sperms are produced at one ejaculation? Around 200 to 300 millions of sperms are released in one ejaculation or in a single sexual practice. Among this huge number, 60 percentage should be normal size and shape and 40 percentage should possess the motility power for the normal fertility of a male. That is, for a ejaculation, cement, irunur mudal, unnur million bale spurmurundai. Itrain sperm in it, Shadaman in it, as shape, nobody but it's a shape word. Napa the Shadaman in it, moving power, then that a without the normal fertility power and down in the English, a reproductive capacity in down here. What train went up, went up fertilization, not a Thank you for attending my classes.